though, it's your girl Coco, and we're here with another weekly what I got this week for my prepper pantry, okay? Um, I literally just got back from a Facebook market little deal here and I got a ton of upcycled jars uh, from this lady is a really sweet lady and um, she just messaged me and she was like um, I have these jars here because I just put it on the attic like you have free jars um, anywhere like any kind of jars just message me and she messaged me and I thought I was just getting like a few like little bags like this and no so I have this bag I have this bag and then she was so kind I forgot to bring a box and she gave me this little bag here which I think is super cute it's like a little wine bag um, but it's filled with all kind of jars like here for example we have a she had hearts of palm and brine um, here and then she had these little Greek mixed olives she has like pasta jars and strawberry jam jars and I upcycled my jars a lot um but I used to get the plastic ones because they were always cheaper and they were bigger so now I'm transitioning to using all the plastic ones to get jar ones so I can use the jars for my apothecary for other food items my jams and sea mosses things like that so um uh, this was super cool and super nice of her to give me these and these were free so um and she literally lives like five minutes from me so hardly any gas so it was a great win for me my budget this week was twenty dollars um so that was free i didn't have to cut into any of that and then i went to sam's club and got this chunk of chicken breast um and on here they have it to where you can make like pizzas with it you can make a chicken buffalo pizza oh that would be so good if you haven't seen my pizza sourdough pizza crust uh recipe i'll put it up here it's super super good and then um you can make like a chicken salad with it um you can do chick can of chicken is really just um very versatile like when you don't want to cook down chicken or um use your stock in the freezer but if y'all didn't see my post at Kroger right now, they have a buy one, get one with Tyson chicken here. I'm here in Houston, Texas. And um, with the ribs as well. Remember those ribs I got back from $5. Now they ha they're going for about $12.90, I believe. But it's a buy one, get one as well. So you kind of get them for like $6, $7 a piece. So that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, but this was $9 for... The chicken breast and I was just gonna go ahead and get two but I was like you know what let me go to some other stores and see what I can find so this was cool I just got my little ten dollars in cash went in there pay for it and came out right so I got this and then at Dollar Tree they had this this is like the only one left it was a sweet cream Splenda um, only 15 calories but I thought this would be super cool to just have in your preps just to have some cream and not use like your shelf stable milk or powder milk you could just use this and it's sweet cream i love anything sweet cream and it's splenda so um this has 16 servings and it's supposed to be a tablespoon i mean if you're trying to ration it out cool but I, you know i'll probably use two uses out of this honestly um but i'll taste it and then keep on lookout to keep this on the shelf this is until November 2025, so not bad shelf life there. And then I went to Walmart and Kroger and I got just some of this gelatin strawberry. This is a fat free yogurt. I believe it was like 89 cents. And then um, this has eight servings, but this is just a fun little treat spot. It's summer, having fun treats. And then just having this on the shelf is always nice too. Maybe like we're in a pickle or something. Maybe we need to make some jello to have the kids have some fun. I don't know. 
I don't know, you know. And then we have this Jello, the chocolate flavored one, um, which is like a pudding or like a pie filling. I have tons of pie crust in there. I didn't even realize I had so many pie crusts from last year. So I'm gonna probably make it some pies this year. And then at Kroger, I got some of this gelatin here. I also use these to make um, fruit snacks for the kids. So um, that's why I just get these little mini ones. Those are always fun to stock up on. And I got some books. So these are the books that are supposed to come in in my last week's video, but they didn't, they ended up coming this week. So I'm sharing it with this week. Um, and whatever money I didn't use for this week, I'll, it'll carry on to the next week. Um, for budgeting. That's kind of how I do that. So this is a DIY canning for be for beginners. This is a preserving vegetables, fruit, and more with step-by-step -step recipes. And the reason why I like this one because it was on Amazon for $3 and the candy book for $3. Yeah, I'll wait. And it's super simple. Here, let me show you guys. Super simple because I I, I'm a simple person. Look, quick pickles. Picture, mix, Instruction ingredients the instructions Whoa. garlic dip sir my dog the picture ingredients what to do and that's it I like that and it's simple um it has different types of like fig jam in here you can make apple banana butter I I really want to try apple butter they also have that in here. They have a pina colada butter, um, all kinds of stuff. Spiced cherry raspberries, banana butter, jar cupcakes, Moroccan salad, Thai dipping sauce, caramel corn nuts, like just a bunch of different stuff you can make in here. And um, I'm excited, it says, um, it says within this book you can find recipes like pickles, jalapeno rings, carrot and cabbage jars, mixed vegetable jars, strawberry jam, apple banana butter, yogurt and berry park face, and caramel corn with nuts. A recipe has no soul. You as the cook must bring the soul to the recipe. Okay, I like that. Um, Paul. That's that's who that's, yeah, Paul. Paul Ruthie. Shout out to Paul. <laughs> Got that, and then I know I'm selling a broken record, but y'all know I'm I'm in an herbalist class, and I'm trying to get my certificate in um, herbal medicine. Um, and so I ended up getting this medical herbs a beginner guide because not everybody in my family is gonna know about herbs, but say my children are getting a little older, I kind of want to teach them a little bit more, and I feel like this is nice to be very visual. Um, on what it is and like this has calming lavender massage oil because my class is mainly like um, oxy mills and tinctures and more of like um, medicines and not so much like oil soaps cleaning you know methods and things like that which I feel like all kind of goes with herbal medicine because when you're living in a clean life and you don't have so much chemicals it all kind of helps your body you know you're not soaping with chemicals it all helps each other and so um they have anisha spray for sore throat um chickweed um super so uh, soothing salve uh candelou oil healing aloe lotion for poison oak and poison ivy like what Stuff like that, you know what I mean? So it has tons of things um, that maybe your class won't go over. We mainly just break down um, each herb and what um, they classify as, what is a good um, tincture, oxymil, or um, like if they're a nervine, what, you know, whatever they think. I know y'all probably don't even know what I'm saying, but... Um, <laughs> Yeah, that's basically what that goes over. I feel like this goes in a little bit more of like a day-to-day -day type deal. And I kind of like this. So this has 124 of Rosemary um, Gladstar's favorite medicine recipes, including um, cayenne rub, ooh, bath salts, ginger lemonade, um, brain tonics and tinctures, um, good um, 
for a bad throat, um, rosemary, famous face cream, tonic and tink, um, uh, a heart tonic and tincture, lemon balm bath, peppermint tooth powder. Like, huh? Yeah, so I'll be reading this as well. And then another thing that I've been liking um, this week is I've been reading the More Forgotten Skills and Self Sufficiently um, by Caleb Warnock. I, at first, it put a bad taste in my mouth because he was like, uh, like the first few sentences, like, I don't prep or stockpile food, um, and this is why. And he was mentioning to, like, people who just have it for show instead of it being useful. Like, he recommends people using the food. And that's the thing, because um, one of his neighbors um, gave him, like, pounds and pounds and gallons of, like, rice and oats. And luckily he had chicken, so he, you know, took the oats and the rice. But he was like, how long has he had that there and is not using it? Like, we go through rice and oats a lot, and we're just a family of three. But I'm not going to have gallons and gallons and pints and pints of rice if we're not going through it. You see what I'm saying? So I read all that, ooh, oh no, we don't got the same beliefs, but it's okay. I'm going to keep on reading because I paid for it. And then he got into it a little bit more, and it was cool. And this also gives you, um, um, tips, sorry y'all, I'm having a break, tips of like growing, um, self-seeding vegetables. Like all my, all my, everything in my garden, I started from seed and that's just the cheapest way to do it. And some people may not like the seed starting process because I've known I've lost a lot of seedlings, um, but if you're, I, I'm planning for when I'm out there in on my land and I don't have any grocery stores I don't have anything here I have to rely on my garden and so if something fails I need to just keep going to backtrack and not dwell on it and so that's kind of what I'm building myself up to now while I'm still here with all my resources easily accessible to me um that's what I'm kind of training my mind to so he talks about growing self seeding vegetables building raised beds in your garden using step-by-step -step instructions collecting water from rain and snow make your own laundry detergent and finding wild vegetables for everyday eating and um preserving and things like that um he also talks about um like he has a carpet cleaning um fluid he has um chemicals and garden he talks about chickens he talks about ch your children and um them learning alongside with you uh because i also i caught myself the other day too i was in the kitchen and my son was like oh like i want to help mommy want to help but it, i was frying up some uh plantains and i was like no baby it's really hot um and then he was like, okay, well, let me do the dishes. And I was like, no, it's okay. And why can't I just let him do the dishes, you know? So I stopped myself what I was doing, took everything out the oil, set him up to where he can help me with the dishes there. And, you know, he's three. And I think that's just, one, it's awesome that he's wanting to engage in um, washing the dishes because I taught him how to wash the dishes and put it in the dishwasher. So I was like, you know what? That's the whole reason why I taught him so it's not so hard on me. So I let him wash the dishes and... Um, yeah, with all that being said, include your kids, no matter what the age is. No one's ever too young. I mean, there's too young for some things, but when it comes to, like, cleaning, you know, hygiene and, you know, them feeding themselves, I feel like you can never be too young for that. That's something that you need to be in life, but maybe some other things that maybe they'll be too young for, they don't need to be learning. But stuff that will help them in the long run, teach them. Like, my son knows how to use the broom and uh, mop and clean up his messes. He knows he has to, if he makes a mess, he needs to clean it up. And that makes him a better person, you know what I mean? And maybe he could teach somebody else that maybe didn't learn that. But anyways, that was the end of the haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I enjoy making these videos for you guys. It just puts y'all in a more realistic um, field versus doing like a big... A hundred and fifty dollar prepper pantry grocery haul. You just see all the stuff that I have. But like I said, we're a family of three, and I have a growing little boy, and my um my man he eats a lot too, 
And so keeping them two alive and we're trying to grow a family is just really important. And I feel like this is giving me some type of sense of security since I don't know what the future may look like or what the grocery store prices may look like. So this just kind of helps me out like, oh, we already we have that, but we're running a little bit low. So let me go get it now. I won't have to get 10 of those because I already have nine at home. I just need to go get that one. And maybe this can of chicken next year might be $15 instead of the $9 that I'm paying for it now. You know, I have nine of these and I just have to pay that 20 instead of paying $100 for just chicken breasts. You know what I mean? And a can. But anyways, I won't hold you up too long because you know I can chop your ear off here all day. Um, if you want more videos like this, there is a playlist at the end of this video. Feel free to click that and I'll see you in the next one. Because I don't want the simple life.